So, motorized backlit poster scroller. I wanted to hang like a couple posters in the shop, but then I saw one of those poster scrollers at the bus stop and I was like, yep, I need this. It's gonna be such a great addition to the shop. So, let's see what we got. So, I have gathered some parts. Uh, this is going to be our main driver, NEMA 23 motor, pretty standard. Uh, we have a motor driver, we have some belts, we have some, some bearings, we have a tiny Arduino to control our motor, we have some pulleys. These are going to be our rollers. I think I'm gonna go with a one size poster. I'm probably going to have three posters on the row. I hope they will not be tearing apart, but we'll see. I guess I'm just gonna start the build and I'll uh, sort the problems as I get them. So first of all, the rollers. They are whole inside, so I'm not going to be able to attach them to anything. So I'm gonna have to make some sort of a bushing and add another piece of aluminium like so. So this way I will be able to attach it to the bearings and to the motor and stuff. I'm gonna use Delrin to machine the bushings. Delrin is my new favorite building material. It machines so nicely. You can drill and tap into it and it's just so nice to work with. I really like it. I also had to machine the axle so that it would sit inside our bearing well and so that I could attach the pulleys to it properly. So next up I need to attach the bushing to the axle and attach the, the pipe to the bushing and I would rather have a mechanical connection than just gluing everything together. I really want to be able to change things around and to take it apart if needed so uh, mechanical connection is the way to go for me. So after assembling the rollers, I had to make some mounts for them. I'm using just a 2 mil steel and welding everything together. Quick and dirty, but it works. So these are gonna be the brackets to hold the bearings, just like that. I'm gonna have plenty of room to adjust it. So now when the rollers are complete, I know what size of the frame I should make. First I wanted to do it from steel, but I think it's going to be very heavy if I do it from steel. Aluminium would be a perfect option, but it's quite expensive. So I've stopped on the plywood, my favorite building material. It will be light, rigid and quite cheap. I'm using just a medium grade 12 mil Baltic birch ply. My old cheap table saw is really on its last breath, but somehow it still keeps working. Check out the frame. We have these borders here to hide all the mechanics. 
these borders are also gonna hold our plexiglass. I'm gonna wait a few hours for the glue to set and then I'm gonna use the table saw and make a cut all around the box. I'm cutting the box after I build it on the table saw because I want everything to match perfectly and this way I know it is going to match. The box is also going to be painted. I also need to hide some uh, some holes here. Before we continue with the build, I would like to say a big thanks to the sponsor of this build and they are my Patreon supporters. A kind of simple project like this could easily cost me like two, three hundred euros and without the Patreon support, I think I would probably give up making videos already. My ad revenue is really miserable because I don't have a lot of views. So if you like to support the videos coming, you can check out my Patreon by simply scanning this code right here. Or if it's not something for you, you can simply leave a like under this video or write a comment. This also helps a lot. Thank you for support again and let's continue with the build. adding these borders to make both parts of the box line up and then I'm sanding everything smooth and hiding some imperfections with a body filler. So my initial plan was to spray the box with the spray gun, but I quickly realized that it was a dumb idea. My whole shop got covered in an overspray and I quickly switched to a classic paint roller. And I was more than happy with the end result. I began the assembly process with installing the rollers, gluing the 2GT belt into a continuous loop and lining the inside of the box with a foam cord to get a better reflection from the lights. And then I could assemble the electronics. So we finally have some movement. A friend of mine wrote me a code that works perfectly with my setup. I can easily alter the code just to set the distances and the delays correctly. Uh, let me explain you a little bit how it works. So our motor spins this bottom roller and the bottom roller is connected uh, with a timing belt to the top roller, so they two are synchronized. So in theory, we can have as many posters as uh, possibly could fit on a roller, but in my case, we're gonna use three. And basically the motor is gonna spin the rollers and the poster uh, should change to the next one. So you've probably noticed this little micro switch here, and this micro switch is going to set up our zero position. So let's say I turned off the power while the motor was working, and because there will be no electricity powered the Arduino, it's gonna forget its current position. And if it's like starts from the wrong position, it's going to probably rip off the poster, which we don't want. So every time uh, I switch this on, it's going to find its zero position, which is the first poster. And the way it's going to find it is by clicking the switch. Uh, so imagine we have a poster, it's always stretched between the highest point of the rollers, but if we spin the rollers too much, the poster is going to go lower and it's going to go like past the high point of the roller and hit the switch like this. And by hitting the switch, it's going to make a couple of steps back and uh, this will be our zero position. I'm so bad at explaining this. Let's just switch it on and I'll show you what I mean. So we have the switches here. I can switch off the light and I can turn on the Arduino and the motor. So as you can see, it's gonna start spinning very slowly, just like that. And uh, let's say the poster attachment point is here. It's going to oh, find its position, roll back a little bit, and then it's going to spin to the, to the second poster from the first one. Basically, this is how it's supposed to work. I have already printed my posters, but before moving on to the real posters, I think I'm gonna take some craft paper 
and uh, we're gonna do a little test with the craft paper just to make sure that everything is working correctly here goes nothing Well, I think it works. Uh, obviously, it is not stretched properly right now, but I'm gonna fix this when I put the final posters. And uh, yeah, I think it works pretty well. Let's imagine that we lost power somewhere here. I just resetted the Arduino. It's gonna now find its uh, zero position uh, by doing a little bit of uh, motion to that side and once it comes there it clicks the switch finds the zero position and starts Spinning this crazy machine works. It looks a little bit like a treadmill dude I'm so excited for a final assembly. I think I'm gonna put on the original posters now And this is my beautiful roll of posters Shit no I ruined it Dude, it looks so nice! <laughs> yes, I'm so happy! The paper is actually sticking to the plexiglass because of the aesthetics and it looks so good! Okay, I need to hang it on the wall. I'm gonna put the hinges and all the rest uh, after I put it on the wall. Just a round of applause for myself. I'm so happy, it works so good. I didn't expect it to be so nice. This is like the ultimate feeling of satisfaction when in the end everything works nicely. Of course, some things could be better, but it works. I think I've spent like 300 and three euros building this. Plus some really crazy amount of time in this one. Well, I can obviously make it faster or slower. I like it at this speed. I don't think I'm gonna have the motor always turned on. Uh, I think it's going to be more like a party trick or something. Uh, but I'm really happy with the result. Thank you again so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again, my Patreon subscribers. Without you, this project wouldn't be possible. Every like under the video, every comment helps my channel grow. So do your part, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let's have a little chat. Let me know what do you think of this little baby. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.